Hey everyone, welcome back to Virtual DJ Tips. Today I want to look at something that's new to the site and it's been around for a little while, but uh, maybe some people haven't seen it as of yet. Um, we have a brand new add-ons page, so if we go to the download section on our main page and we select, oh, hang on, add-ons, and we can go for Virtual DJ 8 or for Virtual DJ 7. Now if we go to Virtual DJ 7, it's pretty much the same add-ons page that we saw for version 7 and you're used to. But for version 8, everything has been completely revamped. So if we click on for version 8, we can scroll down and we can see we're automatically on the skins page to start. You'll see all the new skins so you can download and install new skins if you need a new look for your virtual DJ. It also tells you a couple things. It's got some tags. It says multi-function for video DJs, this one specifically. Uh, we've got this one over here that's uh, optimized for controllers. Now the other cool things is that we can go in and we can look at effects. So there are some effects. Show logo, pangolin plugin, a volume plugin, siphon server eight, We've also got samples in here now. And now that Virtual DJ 8 has a video sampler, we can actually go in and download samples to the site. So this is a big plus to being a pro user because you'll have access to absolutely everything. Now some plugins are available or add-ons are available for LE Plus and pro users. As you can see this one, the Aw oh Yeah sample. But you can scroll through and you can see everything here. This is a audio sample pack. So it's an entire pack of samples called Project 8. And then you've got some visuals. And you can go through and you can search for them. Now, uh, I will do another video on showing you how to download and, and install and use them in the software, especially the video samples. We'll go to the Others page and we have things like My Library that is very popular, uh, the PC Optimizer, different mappers that are available from other users. And the cool thing about this is that if you go in, say for example the skins, you can click on the user name and that will take you to their home page and it's easier to give them a private message if you're having a difficulty or you're finding a bug. The other big bonus is that you can click on comments and that will take you to the thread that is dedicated to that specific plugin or if you just want to read through the comments you can do that as well. Now another cool thing is that you can rate it just by hovering over top of the little stars and click on what you think the rating is up to five stars. I strongly recommend that you do that for uh, if you like something and you want to give it uh, you know five stars do that because uh, you can also go in and you can sort by their popularity or their votes so it does it will help other users as well determine if it's a plugin that they can use if it's got you know four or five star rating they'll download it not that it's going to cost you anything but some people have a little bit of skepticism on drive space the other thing that uh, you want to make sure is that you are definitely logged in. So if you don't see your name at the top, make sure you log into the website so that you do have access or else you will get a message that says um, you do not have the credentials to download this plugin. So that is pretty much a, a brand new uh, overview of the add-on page, the brand new add-on page. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any comments or you want to see a video on a specific plugin, leave them in the comments below. Until next time, keep your head in the mix.